Hi everyone, my name is Bobby, and today I will be showing you how to register for your very own Taito Online account. There are three different methods for registering for a Taito Online account, and depending on which one your classroom is using, feel free to skip ahead in the video and find the one that applies to you. The three methods for registering for a Taito Online account are registering by a class code, which your teacher will have provided to you, registering using your Google or Gmail account and tying it to your Taito Online account, or signing in with a username and password provided to you by your teacher. The first method for registering for a Taito Online account is to use a classroom code provided to you by your teacher. And the first step for this method is to go ahead and open up an internet browser. Once you do, you're going to head to www.titleonline.com backslash students, and this URL will only be used if you're registering with a class code. So once you type that in, go ahead and hit enter, and you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. On this page, you want to go ahead and enter in your first name, your last name, and the class code provided to you by your teacher. This class code is usually three letters or numbers followed by a dash, followed by three more letters or numbers. And this class code is going to be unique for each individual class. So my code here will not work for your class, but you'll have to get your class code off of your teacher since it is unique. Once you've verified your information, go ahead and hit the submit button. And now you'll see that Taito Online has given you your very own username and password. You'll make sure, as we note here, to please write down this username and password in a safe location so that you'll be able to remember it for later. You'll not be able to view this username and password except for asking your teacher, so we recommend maybe writing it down on a Google Word document or a notepad saved to your desktop or maybe even a piece of paper in real life so that you don't lose it. Once you're confident that you've written down your password and username, go ahead and click Get Started. Then you'll want to come up and click Log In. And to finish out the process, you'll go ahead and type in your username and password here and click the Log In button. Once you do, you'll be taken to a dashboard where you will then be able to play Taito Online. And that concludes the first method of logging in with a classroom code. For our second method and third method of logging in and registering for Taito Online, you'll want to head to account.titoonline.com backslash login. And that will take you to a screen that looks like this. For our second method, we're going to take a look at signing in with Google. It's important to note that you are able to sign in using your Google Gmail credentials, but only if you've registered with Taito Online before. If you have not registered with an account, when you click this button, it will ask you to sign up. So if we click it now, we'll see that we're brought to a page that looks like this, where you'll be able to enter in your Gmail email account and connect Taito Online with your Gmail account. You'll then hit next and follow the steps to link the two together and from here on out, anytime you want to access Taito Online, you'll be able to click Sign In with Google, and it will sign you in with your Google account. Again, this only works if you've registered in the past and your Google account is tied to your Taito Online account. The third and final way to register for a Taito Online account is if your teacher has already provided you with a username and password. For me, I'll go ahead and enter in the username and password that I just got from registering. So we can see 2Bob is the username, and then I've entered my password here. And when you're ready, you can click log in, and you're taken to your very own Taito Online dashboard. And from here, you can click this big button that says play the game. And now you're taken to a loading screen with three bears on it. Sometimes, this loading screen may take up to three or four minutes before you actually load in to Taito Online. That is perfectly okay, and the loading times depend a lot on your internet or computer speed. 
we ask that you're patient as this loading screen uh, might take a second and if it lasts longer than three or four minutes, we ask that you refresh the page and try again. Now that we've loaded in, we're able to see our apartment and unfortunately there's not an avatar over here to the side. Future times you log in, you'll be able to see your character over here, but since we haven't created one yet, we're going to go ahead and log in to Title Online for the first time and create our character. Thank you for viewing our tutorial and feel free to stay tuned if you'd like to see gameplay of your first session and some introductions to the game. We hope to see you soon.